Hi guys, I'm Mr. Wig. Today I'm coming to a different show that I haven't been here actually for three years. Obvious, two years it was because of the coronavirus and this year actually it would make three years precise. Yes, you can see this is going to be huge. There's thousands of cars here. Actually, this is as big, let me to tell you, uh, as big as Goodwood Festival in size. It's not the, the, the same as Goodwood, but can I just give you some facts and figures uh, of this place? It's two days, Saturday and Sunday. Good morning, by the way. It took me almost an hour just to do less than two miles. Actually, the, 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 the traffic goes as far, more than two miles actually to come to the show. But here I am with thousands of cars. This show is called the Stravaganza. Here I am in Gloucestershire, really beautiful. And when I came here, this show is particularly because it will have cars, um, army vehicles, steel, steam engines, steel, uh, steam trains, etc. Lots of entertainment here, special for children, what is called. But people, they collect all sorts of things and they come here to show to everyone. And that's why I'm here. You will see how big it is. It actually, I will make actually two videos so I can share as much as possible with all of you. And here I am now inside the Stravaganza show. What I do like this particular show, as you can see behind me, for example, this person's got models, uh, toys. Somebody else got even cans there. As you can see, they do paint them. Actually, some people, actually, they come here to expose, not to sell, and they want to show to the public and all sorts of things. Actually, my favorite was one person as I came here three years ago where she had like a tent and she decorated like old fashioned. It just blew me away. But anyway, there's so many things happen here. I'll try to show you as many as possible. I can see actually a mile away from that way. This is so big, actually, when I came here, I, I, I couldn't do it at all because this is so big. It's a mile all the way around. The car park is huge. It's half 11 in the morning, guys. I can't wait to show you what things they have here and what type of show is this. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Mr. Week channel. As you know, I do like to make videos about cars, motorcycles, caravans, my own life, challenge, food reviews. Really? Oh. Are you kidding me? Please, no F words in my channel. Holy moly! So let's do this epic video. Stay tuned. Is this yours? So beautiful. Is this here a caravan, I presume? Yep. Look at that, my friend. She looks amazing. I think she's from 1953. <laughs> wow, I didn't know I was so old. Wow, they look amazing. The technique that they use it is incredible. Look at that one, they got even a swimming pool for the dogs. How lucky they are! The Harry, we got the Lenny, we got the Dogo, we got the Sam, we got the Nobby. That is from a ship, guys. Oh wow, my goodness. It's Susie, we got Belinda, as we got the Marta. Look at these people, they are ready to go to war. 
That's going to do it right now. <laughs> and they got the old fashioned radio there as well. Lots of guns. Can I have that one, please? So I can help these people. We can see the general there is still thinking what strategy they're going to have so they can kill all the Russians. Just look at this Ford Galaxy. Now we come to the cars. Wow. I almost forgot about it. This is so big. There's a Ford. It looks like it's a ambulance or is that a taxi? It could be actually a taxi from the from New York. My goodness, amazing cars here. There's a Dodge. My goodness, that is a beauty. Look at this Chrysler. Oh my goodness, that is almost six meters long, all left and drive. That's what I love about this old and classic cars. There's a Ford here. Look at that, and that is absolutely incredible and huge. Here we have a, a classic Cadillac standing full of dust because it's very dusty here. Oh my goodness, some of them, they are so rare. And that's why this particular show, Extravagance in Gloucestershire, is so particular because people they will bring very rare cars. I go to plenty of shows and believe me, some of the cars actually I saw here, just in 50 yards, I don't see all the way around. All the year around, I don't see it. I come here and I see these amazing cars. Is that a Chevrolet? I would say yes. There's a Plymouth. I love that. Never saw one of those. And look at this Ford Cabrio. I'm just lost for words. This is absolutely stunning. Look at this Pontiac, guys. Looks how much chrome actually half of the bumper actually is made out of metal. A Ford pickup, all rusty. Wow, actually is a study. Is that a rat pickup? As we got another Ford, pink one, a yellow Jeep. Let's look at that Studebaker. No, 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 guys, I didn't speak German. As we go to a Chevrolet pickup with several push bikes just in the back, guys. I love this one. This is the van, guys. Perhaps the majority of you, you don't know, but this is a van they used to use in a series called A Team. Look at that, it's got even a, a rear spoiler. And the A-Team, go on YouTube guys and put the A-Team series and you will see this is a copy of this GMC. Look at this one, this is a stand, oh my goodness. This is a, G a Jeep actually. This is a Torino, cool, all in left and drive. Just look at this Dodge van, that is stunning. I would be shocked if I wouldn't see a, a, a Mini here. There's a Mercury, another American car, stunning. Nice green interior. And look at that, they put some green leather on top of the roof. What is that? Is that a Ford, a Chevrolet? I don't know, but it's stunning. And that is a Ford, hot rod. Cool. We got here a Chevrolet pickup in green. This is stunning, let me tell you. Look at this car, it's called the Popular. Is this a Dodge? Yes, it is. This is cool. I love American cars, by the way. Oh, look at this hot rod. And look at this push bike. Team Prozac Drag Racing, oh, this is uh, Austin, but this car actually is very fast, I can see it's got a lot of work inside, look at that, a racing radiator, look at that, the bonnet flew away when he came to this show, this is a stunner, beautiful Corvette, <sighs> my goodness, I'm a big fan of this car, we've got a Ford pickup here, a Ford Hot Rod, or I think it's a Chevrolet, is a stunning love the paint it's so similar to the morgan but it's not a morgan i reckon i wonder if it's a, a triumph actually this is a triumph it's another triumph yeah it must be the triumph club here rolls royce cornish this is stunning so rare there's austin look at this ford mondeo this is the mark one yeah a triumph as well a different models of the mini Look how stunning, and that is nice in purple. The Saab, what a stunning car. Oh my goodness, is this a prototype? A Zodiac. That is stunning, convertible. We got another Zodiac, but that is the Coupe Volkswagen Carmen. That is nice, what an amazing array of cars here. BMW E30. The Triumph. Wow, very nice. Look at this type of cars. It's Alfa Romeo Spider, love them. That is a nice one as well as we got here uh, triumph in blue the tr6 looks amazing in red there's another triumph there plenty of triumphs here the ford mustang gt don't get so nervous see you never know what it can happen ac cover in blue that's what i would love to have my goodness a 
Morgan in purple. Stunning car, the Ford Mustang. He looks beautiful in this very strong red. Look at this Ford as well. Once again, it wouldn't surprise me actually it's the original paint. Look at this car. I have seen it several times, a Chevrolet. Yeah, I'll call them hot rod, but I don't know what they call them. Still think he's stunning. We got here Pontiac Chieftain. This is red, let me tell you. Beautiful in this British racing green. Look at that metallic paint. It looks amazing. So we got a hot rod here. Stunning in white and green mixed together. This has got a V8, oh my goodness. Another awesome classic car. Oh my goodness, what a beauty. So we got here another Chevrolet pickup still in his original colors. A Plymouth, this is a stunning car. Goodness, look at those air vents, so he sucks all the air inside. A convertible hot rod. That is stunning. We got here Firebird, an American car. Look at this old-fashioned drag car with a V8. Look at this brick from 1955. Oh my goodness. We got here another awesome Ford hot rod. A Cadillac. This car actually is six meters long, at least, let me tell you. Beautiful this car is. The Ford pickup, this is a stunning. I always think it was rusty, but it isn't. Can you see it's full of glitter actually? This is a, a rugby guys. This is stunning. Never came across one. My goodness. There's a, a Trans Am. Love this car. Stunning. Chevrolet. This is a stunning in this light blue. As we go to another light blue with the white roof. Oh my goodness, he just looks amazing. So we got here Cortina Cool. This is a stunning Riley. Really beautiful. Nice, this Austin in blue. As we jump to another Mini in blue. Look at this console, guys. Never came across this car. This car. We got here an Ilman. Look at this amphibia car. Well, car or boat, you would say. But actually could go on the road. No, that would made my day. Look at that, it's got indicators, as you can see it here. It's got the headlights. And actually it was, it's still got the, there's a number plate, as you can see it there. As you can see, it was paying his road tax as well. It's the first time I actually came across one.
Sí, para todo. This BSI, this is stunning. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. You just made my day. Look at that, guys. I just found a, a monkey. Here we are. One of the most successful motorcycles from Honda. Kawasaki. This is absolutely incredible. There's a Norton there. A Douglas. That is rare and expensive, too. Oh, wow. RDLC. That is a 50cc. I tell you what, I had one. RZ50cc that it was so similar to that one. So it's a kick started, no motors that look how many miles? 23 actually, it's not a lot. What a good memories I have from this motorcycle, also similar. We got an Harley Davidson here, cool motorcycle. They're splendid. There are several clubs here, as I can see here and there. That is very nice. Wow, I want one of those guys. The Suzuki RGV, this is a replica. RGV 500 that Kenny Roberts won the World Championship back in the year 2000. There's another TZR. These motorcycles actually, they are very expensive. Special this one, the Kaya R1S. This is really cool. Apparently they are very problematic, but they are really cool. There's another KRS Kawasaki. This is amazing and beautiful. Look at that RD. 50 cc this is really stunning suzuki hayabusa 1300 oh my goodness look at the design it looks so futuristic this is cool this is the first time i check him across one look at that it's got even a cobra car seat in it this is a very rare I never saw actually one you saw on the cx 650 turbo are you kidding me this is really amazing Guys, I'm gonna end my video here by these amazing cars from Oval Racings. I got a few Renault 5 GT Turbo. I'm a big fan actually of these cars, believe it or not. This is really stunning. Renault 5 GT Turbo, my goodness. This they were the daddy at that time actually. And this was just 1.4 turbo. Hope you enjoyed the show, guys. I show you so many cars. There's even the, the, the Mark 1 of the 5. GT Turbo, there's Minis here, there's the Ford Mexico, it's a limited edition, there's um, a few Fords, I found a, a Ford RS, a Ford Mustang, all here in one place, plenty of Minis here, I'll show you so many things, now you have an idea how many things I saw it here, why this show is called actually Extravaganza, and how about to finish here by this very colorful racing cars from those trucks, oval trucks, and hopefully next year I will see you, some of you here, because this show in Gloucestershire huh, is amazing and incredible, actually. I recommend it to everyone who would like to come and see an amazing show, because this is so different and very unique 
It's not the car shell, it's just called Stravaganza and Retro uh, with steam engines, steam trains. Incredible. I saw so many things. I had so much fun, guys. I couldn't see it all. I couldn't untire. I've been here a good couple of hours under the sun of 27 degrees. Believe me, it's not easy. I do need to drink some water. I've had no food as well, so uh, please take care of yourselves. So I'm very grateful that you watch my videos. This is my lifestyle. I do like to make all sorts of videos so I can share with all of you around the world. Please subscribe and like so you don't lose the next video. You will support my channel and I will always be very grateful. You are all awesome. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.